for us as technology leader, it was clear that if we do a new UHF timing system, we cannot just take another standard reader. We have to do it ourselves. Not only do we have a reader in every single segment of our antenna mat, it's also specifically made for the purpose and it eliminates the need to have a UHF cable from a decoder to every single element and that creates a, a whole new range of possibilities. Most industrial RFID readers are designed to be screwed somewhere on a wall. They are not designed to be put in a mat and even if there may be readers that physically fit into the mat, uh, there are still factors why you don't want to want to do that. Yeah? Costs, physical robustness, power supply, all that. They are obviously not designed at all to put somewhere on the ground in the rain. I always like to describe it a little bit like building a race car. You know, there are some Formula One teams which build a race car, but they buy a motor to put it in that car. And there are other teams which build their own motor. And we have now built our own reader. If you want to maximize the performance of the system, you need very fine-grained control over the RFID reader, which the conventional APIs cannot and do not offer. We can tweak everything in the new device, whatever we want, and we can tweak it in a way it um, is best suitable for our application. For the user, for our customer, I would say there are three main advantages. Number one is read rates. Of course, most RFID systems today have good read rates, but if it's about hard to read tags and harsh conditions, video will make a difference. As we are firing multiple antenna elements at the same time and have fine-tuned how we actually talk to the chips, the read rates are better than you can expect from every standard reader. Number two is uh, you need only one decoder no matter how long the mat is. Now, it can be two meters, can be 12 meters, it can be 24 meters, whatever it is. And obviously you need less equipment, you need to make less investment no matter how long the timing line is. Energy consumption. If you look at what the new reader uses, um, it is a fraction of our, what our old reader needed for power. So you will now have a whole, completely different experience battery-wise. The whole issue of having to cater for um, power supply on an event will be a non-issue anymore. This combination of flexibility and quick setup is something that allows you to, to offer a better service. We can now get exact detailed logging data from every single element. And this gives us a much better understanding of what's actually happening on the events. And to be honest, we learned some things in the last two years of testing this that were quite surprising to us, looking at the last 15 years of doing UHF. And the only way you can actually see this is by looking at the detailed data of every single element on real events. And this has already led to improvements over the last two years in how we actually talk to the chips. And we think that this will even lead to future improvements. And as we can update the firmware on the elements in the field, um, we think that we will still be learning what you guys are doing out there um, with all the logging data that we get from every single element. And it will lead to improved read rates in the future even more. Without our in-house production, the entire development would probably have taken months, if not years, longer. So in particular, sometimes we had very fast iterations where we iterated in days, which otherwise would have taken years. Building a robot that automatically puts together the elements or tuning an antenna which can be used everywhere in the world or building a electronics that you can submerge in water and also drive over with a truck or building two highly complex firmware, both in decoder and elements, I would say 
this is not only a milestone, this is actually a masterpiece of everyone in the engineering team. So this development was definitely one of our most complex and most challenging endeavors we have ever undertaken. We've learned a lot, we learned every detail about RFID and today we can probably say that there's only a very small number of people in the world that master RFID the way we do. And that's obviously, um, this competence is something we as a company and our timers will benefit from a lot. Uh, like in sports, if you want to be the leader, you don't pick the easiest challenge, maybe you have to go for the tough one. I'm very excited when I myself will run for the first time over an Invidium ground antenna without expecting it. I'm looking forward to see it doing its magic on all the events out there. <laughs>